Hey there, it's John with Excel Campus, and in this video, we're going to look at how to split text in cells with Flash Fill. So this is the fourth video in a series where we're looking at how to split text with cells. We first looked at Power Query, we then looked at text to columns and formulas, and now we're looking at the Flash Fill feature of Excel. Now I want to say a big thank you to Wayne, Paul, and HG for uh, making a comment in our YouTube channel and recommending Flashville as a possible solution for splitting text. So thanks for that. Let's dive into it. Uh, here we have an example where we have this column of full names and we want to extract or return uh, columns with just the first name and last name here in separate columns. And we're going to look at how to use Flashville for this. We're also going to look at some more complex scenarios where we split this email address and then an even more complex scenario with uh, multiple names in a full name column. So we'll first jump over to this flash fill sheet where I just have this list of full names here. And I should mention that I'll make this file available for free download and put a link to that in the description below. And flash fill is a very cool feature in Excel. It's pretty magical in what it can do. So the first thing I want to do is just return a column here with the first name only. And the first thing I'm going to do is just type that name here. You can also copy and paste it, but I'll just type that first name here. And now I'm going to run Flash Fill. With any cell selected here, you can select this cell or even the cell below. Just go to the Data tab in the ribbon, and we're going to click the Flash Fill button. Keyboard shortcut is Control E. So I'll click Flash Fill, and that will fill down all of the first names in this column. Essentially, Excel has figured out what we're trying to do here, how we're trying to uh, split this text and just returned all the first names here. And you can do the same with the last name. So in this case, I'll just copy it. I'll just select the text here. I'll hit Control C, go over here, hit Control V. This time I'll use the keyboard shortcut, which again is Control E, and that will run Flash Fill and fill the column with the last names. And another cool feature of Flash Fill is that you do not need to press the button or keyboard shortcut. So I'm going to start over with this example and I'll just uh, start typing the first name here in the first row, hit enter, and then I'll start typing the next first name. And as you can see, Flash Fill creates a preview of all of the first names in the column here. And all we need to do at this point is hit enter on the keyboard and it will accept those changes and fill the column. So this is another great feature of Flash Fill. Once you do that, you'll notice that there's this little box that appears here with your Flash Fill options. And here you can undo the change you just made, uh, accept the suggestions, or select all of the changed cells. And then one other important thing to note is that when you're running Flash Fill, whether you use the keyboard shortcut or the auto fill suggestion here, you will need to do that in a column that is uh, directly adjacent to the existing column. So if you're to try and do Flash Fill out here, and there's a blank column in between, if I hit Control E on the keyboard, we'll get this error message just saying that uh, Excel cannot find the data or the values that you're attempting to fill. So again, you'll need to do that in a column that's adjacent uh, to the existing data. And once you do that, again, I'll hit Control E here, and that will run Flash Fill. So this is another uh, great solution for splitting text. I will mention at the end of the video kind of the pros and cons of this technique because there are some disadvantages here as well. But let's take a look at another example. So on this email addresses sheet, we have email addresses here in column B. And let's say maybe we just want to split out and return the URL here after the at symbol. Again, we can do the same thing here. I'm just going to type that domain name, netvibes.com, hit enter. I'll hit control E. And that will again, uh, Excel will figure out what we're trying to do and then fill the column there with the domain names. So that's again a relatively simple example because everything is split there with that at symbol between the name and the domain name. Let's go over to this sheet here where we have more of a complex example. This was actually an example that Paul posted on one of our blog posts where he's trying to split these names. And in this case here, the last name is in all caps. But as you can see, in some scenarios, there's two names for the last name. This one's hyphenated here. Again, two names. Sometimes we have this initial before the last name. So definitely a more complex scenario here. But I want to show how you can potentially try and use Flash Fill for this and also iterate uh, through possible solutions. So first of all, I just typed the first last name right here. And again, we can hit Control E or Data Tab Flash Fill. That will attempt to do to extract the last name 
And as you can see, there's some incorrect results here. So for example, this name here actually has two last names. So one thing you can do with Flash Fill is right after you run it, you can actually go into these cells. If you double click here, you'll see a border appears, kind of the shadow appears around the range that we ran Flash Fill on. And you can go into this cell and actually modify it. So I'm going to type Vaughn here because that's really what we want to extract. I'll hit enter. That will rerun Flash Fill and it again will attempt to figure out what we're trying to do. Now it still is not correct. As you can see, sometimes here it's including kind of the middle name or first name, same down here. Uh, up here it's returning the uh, middle initial. So again, you can double click in here. I'm gonna remove that middle initial, hit enter. Now it's starting to get correct. Uh, we'll try and remove this name here, see what happens. That kind of throws it off. It's, it's not really sure what's happening here. So depending on the size of your data set, you can kind of iterate through and see if flash fill will eventually work for you. In this case, uh, without kind of almost doing all the names here, it's, it's not really doing its job, but this is a very complex scenario. So I wouldn't necessarily expect flash fill to handle this, but that's just a way you kind of iterate through if you have addresses or some kind of other data that you're extracting, uh, it might work for you as you add, give it more examples and then rerun flash fill. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the pros and cons of flash fill. Obviously the pros here is very easy. It's very easy to use, just type a few names or copy and paste and run flash fill. And if it works for you, great, you're done. One of the major disadvantages here is that flash fill does not automatically update as your data changes. So for example, if this name here, this full name, uh, let's say it only has one N, we hit enter, that's not gonna change the results that flash fill gave us here or anywhere in the column. So even if it was, we go here to Clark, maybe that has an E on the end, that's not going to change any of these results here. We would need to rerun flash fill. In order to do that, we would also need to, you know, change this name here to the correct spelling, delete everything below, and then run flash fill again. So if your data is going to be changing or you're adding new data, flash fill might not be the solution for you. In that case, I'd re recommend Power Query or the formula uh, solution that we looked at in the last video. Another possible disadvantage here is in that example uh, with the Power Query, we had this, or we had this example in the video on Power Query where we have three names sometimes. Sometimes we have a middle name, sometimes we don't in this column. With Power Query, we were able to uh, create three name columns, first, middle, and last, very easily with the split feature in Power Query. Flash Fill is not going to be able to handle this. At least I haven't figured it out. I kind of I gave it some examples here. And, uh, and of course, if you just select this entire column, hit Control E, it's just not gonna figure out that we don't want values here. Even if we kind of delete there and then run, hit Control E again, it just doesn't seem to figure out uh, that we don't want values in that middle name column. So this would be a case where flash fill uh, probably won't work. But if you have a simple data set like first and last names or email addresses or even phone numbers and you just wanna extract the area code or something, flash fill is a uh, phenomenal tool. So I hope that helps. Of course, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave a comment right below this video. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the subscribe button below. Also head over to excelcampus.com slash free to join our free weekly email newsletter where we share tips and tricks to help you master Excel. Thanks again for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.